What is going on guys? I try way too hard here and this is going to be the introduction for this video series uh, that I'm going to be bringing you. It is going to be how to get all the pets in the game. Uh, it'll be incremental uh, to where or so that first couple or first video and then maybe the next couple ones depending on how many pets there are. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't looked them all up. Uh, but yes, I'm going to be starting with the pets that are easier to get uh, and are closer to the beginning uh, level characters, uh, well, their level. Um, so yes, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, in every every town in the trade district, uh, you have the store, or the general store, that has the potion or pot, whatever that is, uh, that marks the general store, and this is where you buy uh, one uh, pet food. As you see, there is the cotton candy, uh, and I'm pretty sure that is for uh, sheep. So yes, um, there you have it. There is the cotton candy, so you can buy it. Uh, most stores, or I think all stores, only have uh, they only have one one food item at a time, uh, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but to be honest, once you get into dungeons and whatnot, uh, you will find a lot of items, or a lot of pet items, that is. And so now, as you saw, I have the cotton candy. So let us go find a sheep real quick. So I'll meet you guys once I find a sheep. There's actually a sheep right in town. Uh, I'm not sure if I can uh, tame these ones. And it looks like I can. So yes, as you see, cotton candy will get you one sheep. Uh, sheep are actually rideable. Unfortunately, as you can see up in the top left, I am only level 1, so I do not have that skill just yet, but I do have my sheep. And where the hell is it going? Where are you going, sheep? Uh, and again, uh, if you guys don't know, you can name your sheep, and by or naming your pets, that is, and so you hit enter, slash name pets, sheep, oops, sheepy, oh, and no... Spaces don't work. Uh, sheepy the sheep. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry about that. Uh, whenever I tried to change that sheep's name, the game crashed. Uh, maybe it was too long, so let's just go with... What? Oh. Slash name pets. Sheepy. So as you see now, he has a name. Uh, you can name him uh, pretty much whatever you want, as long as it fits but you cannot have spaces. So that's why I was using those underscores. But apparently you cannot have names as long as uh, Sheepy the Sheep. So watch out for that or it may crash your game like it did to me. Uh, so yes, that's how they get the sheep and I'll see you guys with the next, next pet. All right guys, there's a big alpaca over there. I'm not sure if we can tame that or not, uh, but to tame alpacas you need vanilla cupcake or a chocolate cupcake. As you see, I have the vanilla cupcake. So let us see if we can actually tame this guy. I'm not... I don't think we can. Oh, we can? What? That is insane. Alright, I was not expecting to be able to tame this guy. Oh, he just goes down into a little normal alpaca. That would be awesome if you could tame the big boss alpaca. But anyways, yes, that is how you tame the alpaca. Again, either vanilla cupcake or chocolate cupcake and you got yourself an alpaca that is also rideable like the sheep uh so yes that'll wrap it up for this pet time for the next one all right guys we have come across some horses and so let us go ahead and tame that higher level one and what you need to tame horses is a candy dapple which is pretty uh straightforward if you like think about it horses like candy dapples oh so yeah pretty easy oh they're both fighting for it Oh crap. Oh crap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Eat my eat my apple. Oh crap. Am I going to get the bad one? Yes, I am going to get the bad one. Get away from me. Get away. Get away. Oh, wait. all right. We got him. Nice. So now we can take care of this horse. Nice. All right. Time to move on to the next pet. What are you attacking? There's nothing there, horse. Whatever. What's up, guys? This uh, this pet that I'm going to get is the Spitter, which is actually the only pet that I can 
think of that can actually heal you. And to get them, you need water ice, which I actually found this one uh, after I killed one of these crabs around here. So let's go ahead and get this guy and test him out. Well, I'm not going to show you guys testing them out, but yes, there you have them. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, you cannot ride them. Uh, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but they're arranged uh, water spell casting pet, so that's pretty good. So yeah, see you with the next pet. Alright guys, what's up? Uh, this time I am in a cave, as you guys can see, and we are going to catch ourselves a bat. And to do so, you need a mango juice. So go ahead and equip that. So that if any bats come and attack us, and there's no bats. Great cave, 10 out of 10, wood cave again. <sighs> so we'll look for another cave with a bat. Alright guys, and found some bats, so let's go ahead and use that mango juice, and we should be able to get one of them. Yes, there we go. And we'll just clean up the other one once we get our friendly bat over here. Oh, and we got another one coming in. So let's go ahead and take care of him, and I'll see you guys with the next pet. Alright, uh, now we got some land runners, I think they're called. Uh, something like that. Uh, and there they are. Plane runners, that's it. And to get them, uh, all you need is the milk chocolate bar. And let's go ahead and go get one of these guys real quick. And there we go. Nice. Uh, these guys are pretty nice because you can ride them. Uh, but nothing too special other than that. So, uh, yes, time to go to the next pet. Alright, uh, we are going to be getting the hornet. And to get the hornet, you need popcorn. Uh, <laughs> which is kind of funny because the popcorn kind of does look like the hornet. So it's pretty pretty easy to put two and two together. But I like it. I like it. So yeah, uh, hornets are nice, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't really use it. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the next pet. All right, we got a mole here. Uh, it was chasing me a little bit. Uh, and to get a mole, you need a chocolate donut. So let us feed him that donut. Who doesn't like chocolate donuts? Moles are pretty nice. Uh, They're nice uh, melee pets that have pretty good health. So yeah, um, oh, when is he attacking? Whatever. See you guys with the next pet. Okay, there is a collie over here. We are going to go ahead and tame that with bubblegum. So let's go ahead and bring that out. And look at that. She comes right on over here. No problem whatsoever. So there you have it. And you can ride collies. So that is pretty cool. Uh, if that's what, what you're looking for. Nice little dog that you can ride. You got yourself a collie. With again, bubble gum. Okay, now we have a cat up ahead. So let us go ahead and bring out the candy, which is used to tame them, of course. Cats are pretty nice because you can ride them. Uh, but they are kind of low levels, so that is a bit of a downside. Uh, but that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this pet, so let's go on to the next. Okay, now we have some flies. Uh, to tame them, you need the fruit basket, as you can see here. Which is pretty, or one of the coolest uh, pet foods, in my opinion. They just kind of looks the coolest. But as you see, they are flying pets, but you cannot ride them. So, that is a little bit of a downside, but it's alright. Not too big of a problem. Okay, we got the terrier here now. And to get them, you need the waffle. So as he comes on running up. And you got yourself a nice little puppy. Not sure if you can... Oh yeah, you can ride these. Nice. Alright, so yeah, just a small little dog. But of course, most of them are... Or most, if not all of them, are going to be low levels. So that could be a little bit of a downside for you. But... Uh, yeah, time for the next pet. Okay, as you see, we have a group of porcupine up ahead. And to get porcupine, you need the black marmalade. So let's go ahead and get that and get us a nice porcupine. I actually really like the porcupine as a pet, because uh, you can ride them. Uh, which doesn't really 100% make sense, because riding porcupines would not be very comfortable. But it, nevertheless... They're good, pretty tough little uh, pet you got here. So yeah, on to the next one. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm getting chased by a leaf runner. But what you need to capture these guys with is a mint chocolate bar. So there you go. Uh, as you can probably tell, these are basically the exact same as plane runners. They are just a different skin. 
Uh, but yeah, this is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. And so I will see you guys in the next part.